Another common injury that we see in our practice is shin splints. Now, shin splints, um, over time, they will become chronic, and you'll have the, the thickening of the fibers into the attachments into the shin. So you want to be sure, especially if they're tender, that you don't go digging deep until you warm that tissue up. So I use a combination of just a pin and a stretch as I hook the tissue against the tibia, I pin it, pull it taut, and then pull the toe in or pull the toe medially as I stretch that fascia. Really important that you warm this up for them is when you go digging deep into the peroneals, into the tibialis anterior. You will feel a lot of adhesions in there, a lot of tightness. So just be nice and warm up that tissue before you go digging in there. And when you go up close to the bone, when you shorten the attachments by pulling the toes towards the bone. So in this case, I'm bringing his toes in medially, and then I'm sinking in right to the attachments of the tendon into the bone, and then I'm turning his toes out or laterally as I do deep stripping through all of these attachments. Now, of course, the areas where you feel the knots, discomfort, those are going to go slower. As deep as it will let you go, the slower you go, the more heat you create, and the less discomfort for the client. On the lateral side, I do the same thing. I'm right up next to the bone and shorten it by turning the toes towards me. That's lateral. And then as I stretch it and strip, I turn the toes in. Use as much motion as we can. Save our energy. Save your time. And work out all of the discomfort in the shins. Around the ankle, we have ligaments called the retinaculum. Those hold all the tendons in together like a a bracelet. So if we're still not feeling a lot of release up here in the leg, or if we're working ankle pain, uh, ankle injury, and it's very tender, if you release this retinaculum first, you'll find that all of this stuff will become more elastic and pliable. So what I'm, just place my thumbs right below the crease of the ankle, have Hank point his toes toward me, and I strip over the retinaculum. He's going to turn his foot lateral a little bit, have his point his toes, just strip all the way around. Doesn't matter which direction, in or out, medial or lateral, you have him point. Just have him go in all directions. So you feel the loosening of that retinaculum around the ankle.